everyone. Welcome to Tilly's Natural Soaps. Today I am making my spar bar. <laughs> so this is a um, salt salt bar. It's made with um, Himalayan salt. I did put some soy lecithin in there to make it um, give it a little bit more bubbles because sometimes the salt will just give you the little creamy fine bubbles. So um, I'm going to put some white in my oil here because I want to, I don't want them to have dark colors. I want it to have a light color. So I'm going to mix this up. I might put more in my, um, when I mix the soap in. So I'm putting in the lye water. I might put more color in. It depends on how it looks. I don't want it to have a yellow hue. Mix a little bit more in here. Okay, so I'm going to throw my scent in here. And I'm going to use my skinny mold for this soap. So pour some in here. And I'm doing a thin trace because... I want to make sure this swirls in the soap correctly. I'm doing two different blues. Whoops, that's a little too much. And if the two is, blue is too dark, all I have to do is put white, some white coloring in it. And I did put some vitamin E in here because I don't want the soap to be drying. Because sometimes when your soap dry starts to dry and cure, that color will get a little lighter. So. this in here. Nice. 
Okay, make sure I got all this great doll. And I think this time, excuse all the noise, I think I'm going to do an in the pot swirl. Okay, I have my Himalayan salt, so I'm going to put it in my soap. And then I'm going to put some in these. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. I should have used my medium. Um, this is fine instead of um, medium. A little bit more. Okay, that should be enough. Then I'm going to mix my blue. And here's my other blue. Didn't have enough salt in that one. I'm gonna just pour it in. And this is what you call it in the pot swirl. I'm just going to leave a tad bit in here so I can swirl some colors on the top of my soap. And my stick. And I'm using my slim mold today. use this mold much because it seems like it's hard to get out of the mold sometimes you see the colors all swirled in here And I'm going to put this blue in. And I think I'm going to do, got a small mold over there, I might. 
you. Some of this white and put it on top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take my stick, do my little swirls on top. And I'm going to put my cellophane wrap on this. I'm trying to figure out what mold I'm going to use for my other soaps. I had to run and get my little small mold here. Maybe I'll do these as gift sets. Or samples. Okay, I got my little small mold here. I got my tall skinny mold. And then I got my little circle molds over here. I don't know if you can see them all. Let me see. I was trying to see if this one can set up some so I can do a wave pattern, but I'm going to leave that alone, let it set up a little bit, and um, what I do, like I say, I put the plastic over top so it won't have that soda ash on it. If I can get the paper straight, I'll put it on this one. Let's start again. There you go. And when I make soap also, when I start like cleaning up my supplies, because natural soap is all heavy natural oil so what i do is i try to wipe everything out with a paper towel first out of my equipment let me see show you like so and then i wash it because i don't want this to clog my drain so i'm gonna let this set up and then i'm gonna put some swirls on top Okay, I think this set up some, so I'm going to take my spoon. It ain't that set up. I don't know what it is. Salt bars take a little bit longer to set up, but I'm going to do what I can. Make it do what it do. It ain't quite that set up, but you can still see the uh, dimensions in it. So, I'm going to get this all covered up.
And I'm going to put plastic wrap on this one as well. I think I have some soap that I cut and I forgot to put my stamp on it. So I have to insulate these because soaps heat up and then cool down. And I just put a towel on them. I'll do two. Kind of cold today. So here you go. Then I'll let you see them tomorrow. Toodles.